Chaos 131 presents Coastal Chaos. In Coastal Chaos, two fleets race to gather barrels from recently sunken ships before they sink to the bottom of the sea by exiting their anchorage and securing barrels in fortresses. Watch out though, because competing fleets may work with smugglers to take them. Which fleet will secure enough resources to continue exploring, and which will have to turn back? The Coastal Chaos field is comprised of four fortresses as well as four ports per alliance. There are four barrels in the sea, six barrels outside the field to be introduced after auto, and three barrels in each alliance's anchor that robots can start with. There are two shoals dividing the red and blue coast, with the sea in the middle. At the start of a match, ships can move out of their anchorage autonomously to gain bonus barrels and secure barrels in fortresses. If ships can secure three barrels in their fortresses autonomously, they will be given a ranking point. During the tele-operated portion of the match, ships will continue to maneuver barrels within their coast and secure barrels in fortresses. Ships also may work with smugglers to retrieve barrels from a secured fortress by pulling the anchor four times. At the end of the match, fleets will be compensated if the opposing fleet broke the laws of the high seas by being awarded extra barrels. If a fleet manages to secure four barrels in their fortresses by sundown, they will be awarded a ranking point. The fleet with the most barrels by sundown will be able to continue exploring, while the other fleet must turn back. The anchorage is the starting area for the ships at the beginning of the match, located in the middle of the fleet's coast. Barrels are 20 inches tall and 15 inches in diameter, weighing in at 20 pounds. They also have vision targets on their sides and lids. Fortresses can hold only one barrel, which becomes secured, meaning no robot can touch it. The opposing alliance can pull on the anchor four times to open the smuggler's gate and unsecure the barrel. The smuggler's station behind the fortress is of the opposing alliance. Ports are how barrels are reintroduced into the field, mainly used by smugglers to reintroduce the barrels taken from the fortresses. The shoals are two large cable protectors that separate the sea from the fleet's coast. The sea is a bumpy surface with smaller cable protectors running at an angle, making it hard for ships to traverse. Thanks for watching.